Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about light shafts and some of the different ways we can control them and get some different effects for your project instead of Unreal. In this video we're going to be talking about the two different ways that we can control light shafts and how that kind of will affect the look. So without further ado, let's take a look at this. So if we take a look at our directional light, which we have right here, I have mine set to stationary, it shouldn't matter really that much. We're going to scroll down to the section here called light shafts and I want you to take something into consideration. There's an option here called light shaft occlusion and light shaft bloom. The easiest way we can think about it is these are the two different ways of handling light shafts or blooming in our scene. And we can think of these two options as being assigned to this first one, which occlusion, which means kind of subtractive, and light shaft bloom, which we can think of it being an additive operation. So if we come over here and get ourselves in prime light shaft territory, we click on light shaft occlusion, and you might not notice too much going on. You might see a subtle kind of hint happening back here and not too much else. Now, if we take even more of an angle, look subtly at this edge right here as I turn it on and off. And what you'll start to notice is kind of this negative, again, a subtractive effect happening to the light uh, coming off of our light source. The other thing we can control um, is light chef bloom and if I turn this on it's gonna get crazy bright so warning <laughs> so you can see as our current settings this is an additive effect that is checking to see where our geometry is based on our direction of our light and it's adding in this ad additional information now we can scale this down uh, value of 0 0.01 I found to be pretty acceptable again off we don't get any at all and on we get this nice kind of haziness around our light that feels pretty realistic if we can bind it with our light shaft occlusion we can see we can actually build a pretty realistic result so this is good enough for just getting started but we can take it a step further and show you just how much of an impact this can have what I'm going to do is currently in my scene I do have an atmospheric fog actor which is helping provide some of that depth but if we add an exponential height fog actor to our scene, I'm just gonna drag one in here. I'm gonna scroll through its settings here and to kind of push this effect off a little bit more, I'm gonna make this value pretty high for fog density on the exponential height fog. So I'm gonna put a value of 0.5 in and you're gonna see now we have this pretty dense look to our scene. And right away, you're gonna start noticing some effects. If I come into the shadowed region here, you can see that actually in the fog here, we have a slightly darker uh, region, and we can actually start to see these shafts appearing, which is a pretty nice visual effect. Depending on if we're in the shadows and how we move around in the environment, we get to see them more or less. Now, if we re-click on our directional light, and again, I scroll down to light shafts, we can show the effects of this being on and off and how dramatic it really is. So light shaft occlusion on, so again, subtractive. It is subtracting out the fog from the areas where the shadows are casting off of our meshes. You can add quite a bit. Again, turning that off, we see how much depth we can get back. And the light shaft bloom, which you'll notice is it will also be affecting our meshes. So if we turn the bloom scale back up, and we start to toggle this on and off, you'll notice a slight haze in terms of the additive effect that this is having on our scene. So again, I hope this helps you guys understand a little bit more about how you can control the fog and the volumetric lighting, light shafts in your scenes and projects. If you like this video, please smash the like button with your mouse in the middle. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one and have a good one. Cheers.